Here we're looking at blood flow resistance training for hamstring rehabilitation. So you'll see that we've applied a BFR strap to the lower leg. Now we're going to be occluding it, or limb occlusion pressure is going to be anywhere between sort of 50 and 80%. So we use quite a lot of limb occlusion pressure for the lower extremities. Now, initially with, that, uh, with rehab, especially for the hamstrings or any sort of type of rehab, it's best to start off slowly and less is more, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the patient to very gently actively go through a hamstring movement under control. Now, again, with things like hypertrophy, there's a following protocol that you would do. 30 repetitions as our initial pump set, followed by 15 repetitions of our subsequent three sets. Ultimately, you are the expert in the room and you are guided. There's no real specific right or wrong when using blood flow resistance within a rehab. You're going to be patient dependent. If that means you only do 10 repetitions and you do that four or five times, that's absolutely fine. So initially, we're just going to get the patient to go through hamstring movement on their own. So from here, we're going to get them to come up all the way as they can and go through that hamstring contraction under control with their own body weight. We have the restriction of the limb and we have now started to elicit those mechanisms around blood flow restriction hypertrophy. If we wanted to then take it up a little notch, all we would do is add an element of resistance. As the patient comes up, we gently resist and back down. And again, we can gently resist and back down. Alternatively, as the patient comes up, we can resist on the lowering phase, as the patient goes down, we can resist, resist, creating tension, creating that time on the tension, and then relax, good, and then come back up. And again, as he lowers it down, resist, 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 creating that tension, time on the tension of that hamstring. We could add an element of therabands here as well, by placing a theraband behind the patient's foot, and that will allow us to add even more tension. As the patient comes up, we can now start to load the hamstring under control and down, good. And keeping the tension up, we can go through our protocols, either 30, 15, 15, 15, or we can be guided by the patient and go through sets of 10 to 20 and see how they get on. Remembering, give the patient a 30 to 60 second break between each set of exercises. And at the end of the session, just relax, you're going to take the occlusion off the limb and give the patient two to three minutes of rest before moving on to your next rehab exercise. So this is a very easy, prone way that we can start working on a rehabilitation process of the hamstring, utilizing blood flow restriction 